The K-Line Group, comprising Kawasaki Kisen and more than 300 affiliate companies, operates around the globe. This two-story building near the port of Kobe is where the company got started in 1919. K-Line has sought to enrich people's lives by providing high-quality logistics services that place the customer first. As we commemorate our 100th anniversary, we will reflect on our history as we embark on another 100-year journey. Voyaging through time. Shozo Kawasaki, a successful merchant, developed a keen interest in shipping and shipbuilding. In 1896, he established Kawasaki Dockyard which later became Kawasaki Heavy Industries, and appointed Kojiro Matsukata as president. The outbreak of World War I in 1914 created a strong demand for ships, and Matsukata decided to build a large number of ships called stock boats. The end of the war in 1918, however, was followed by a global recession and a dramatic decline in demand for ships. To make use of the ships that remained, and to contribute to Japan's development, Matsukata decided to step into the shipping business. This led to the establishment of Kawasaki Kisen. Kawasaki Kisen Kaisha was established in 1919 in Kobe. Yoshitaro Kawasaki, son of Shozo, became the first president, with Matsukata appointed as vice president. Matsukata succeeded Yoshitaro as president the following year. The company's first headquarters, overlooking the port of Kobe, was a building previously used by German merchants. While staying in London in 1921, Matsukata planned to expand operations by integrating fleets of the Kawasaki Dockyard Shipping Division, Kawasaki Kisen, and Kokusai Kisen. The company took its trade name, K-Line, and adopted a funnel mark featuring a white K over a red background. In 1941, the Pacific War broke out. During the war, the Japanese military requisitioned civilian merchant vessels to transport soldiers and supplies. Many were sunk in air raids by torpedoes and bombardments. K-Line suffered heavy casualties, losing 56 ships and 1,479 crew members. By the end of the war in 1945, only 12 small and medium-sized vessels had survived. In 1948, work began on salvaging the high-performance Kiyokawa Maru, half sunk off the coast of Japan, and after several failed attempts, the ship was raised. With its return to service, Kiyokawa Maru became a symbol of reconstruction and the K-Line's subsequent growth. In 1950, permission to enter overseas ports was granted to Japanese merchant vessels. Kiyokawa Maru was the finest of the ships in Japan at the time and was commissioned to pick up wheat in the United States for the first time after the war.
In the late 1950s, high economic growth and industrial development in Japan boosted demand for raw materials. K-Line played a role in sustaining Japan's economic surge by rapidly developing specialized vessels. In 1960, Fukukawa Maru was completed as our first iron ore carrier. In 1968, we launched another series of ships, including our first full container ship, our first wood chip carrier, and our first roll-on, roll-off car carrier. Japan's first pure car carrier, Toyota Maru No. 10, started operation in 1970. In 1983, Japan's first liquefied natural gas carrier, Bishu Maru, was completed. In 1986, we became the first in Japan to launch an intermodal transportation service using double-stack trains in North America. K-Line has aligned itself with opportunities of economic growth, demonstrating unique strengths. Today, we contribute to enriching the lives of people around the world. K-Line supports global economic growth by transporting various resources and raw materials, including iron ore, coal, grain, logs, and wood chips. We are proud to be among the world's top class operators with over 100 Cape size bulkers. We have set up bases in the United States, China, Singapore, India, and the United Kingdom. We have been actively participating in LNG projects since 1983, including the launching of 57 carriers to date. We have also established a business base in London. K-Line has earned the high regard of major oil companies for its outstanding safety and environmentally sound crude oil transportation services. We operate medium-sized Aframax tankers in Singapore and very large crude oil carriers in Tokyo, while also expanding our LPG carrier business. K-Line is particularly competitive in the development of specialized vessels, listening carefully to our customers. Our thermal coal carriers in the Corona series features a wider hull and shallower draft to facilitate berthing at coal-fired power plants. We have aimed to expand our fleet to 30 vessels since the first of this type, the Corona Ace, which began service in 1994. K-Line also supports offshore oil drilling rigs and oil production platforms in the North Sea. Drill ship services for oil fields off the coast of Brazil. And floating production, storage and offloading services off the coast of Ghana. Moreover, we have a plan to launch an LNG bunkering business addressing both upstream and downstream needs, from development to supply. Cars represent a unique transport challenge as cargo that is not created. Very few companies possess the technology for providing advanced quality management during marine transportation. K-Line meets global needs with the most advanced vessels, capable of loading 7,500 vehicles. 
In addition to passenger cars, we satisfy customer requirements for diverse cargo, from construction machinery to railroad cars. In such countries as Australia, Vietnam, Chile, and the Philippines, K-Line also provides logistics services, including customs clearance, vehicle registration, storage, and delivery. We also strive to raise operational efficiency to keep pace with global trends. In 2018, we launched the Ocean Network Express, which integrates the container ship businesses of K-Line, Mitsui OSK Lines, and NYK Line. We are developing services that fully leverage this alliance's advantages of scale. K-Line is expanding its logistics services in Asia. Through our global network centered around K-Line Logistics in Japan, we deliver comprehensive logistics solutions that are closely aligned with local needs. In Japan, we provide domestic transportation services by roll-on, roll-off ships and other cargo vessels, as well as a ferry business. K-Line's significant growth has been driven by the four strengths it has gained through its 100-year history. To achieve further growth, we will continue refining those strengths in the years ahead. High engineering skills and excellent shipping services. Navigating safely to protect our cargo is one of our steadfast missions. To maintain our premier safety navigation record, we provide standardized training based on real-life situations using state-of-the-art simulators. We strive to ensure transport quality through damage prevention practices. We pay the utmost care to prevent damage during transportation. Additionally, we review the processes of loading and unloading cargo constantly, working day and night to eliminate any potential factors that could lead to cargo damage. K-Line formulated its Environmental Vision 2050 as a set of environmental guidelines. We are implementing advanced initiatives that draw on our high engineering skills and transport quality. Our third strength is our global network. Our global network facilitates the close cross-border collaboration of a large number of group companies in serving areas worldwide, including Europe, the Americas, and Asia Pacific, and allows us to provide a one-stop logistics service. Our fourth strength lies in the diversity of our human resources. As a group that operates business around the globe, securing and cultivating competent maritime technical personnel is absolutely vital for K-Line. We set up the K-Line Maritime Academy in four regions around the world to consistently transfer expertise and nurture technical personnel with the skills for addressing emerging needs. As we celebrate our 100th anniversary and anticipate the next 100 years, K-Line seeks to remain a key partner for customers by consistently placing them first in the provision of high-quality maritime transport that is safe, secure, and reliable. Looking ahead, we will achieve further growth while fulfilling our responsibilities as a member of the global society.